as different kinds of produce come in season and go out of season, you can still make a terrific fruit salad using all different types. You just need to look at how you're blending them together. So today I'm going to do a fresh fruit salad, pretty much fresh, with a few other combinations in there, with a citrus dressing. So I'm going to start with an apple, which tend to be seasonal most of the time. I'm going to leave the skin on, and I wanted it to be a red apple because I wanted as much color as I could get from it. Also to this, I'm going to add, that was just one medium apple, uh, about a cup of fresh blueberries. Now, if you don't have fresh blueberries because they're not in season, then use frozen. Put them in without thawing them because by the time you get to eating them, they're still going to have a little bit of iciness to them, and that's going to help hold their texture if they still have a little bit of crystals in, to, in them. Here's a, one banana that's sliced. And again, this is something you're going to want to do fairly close, just like the apple, to when you're going to be able to put the dressing on because you don't want it to discolor. That's one medium kiwi. If you like kiwi, you could add two. You can also use different fruits, as the, again, as they go in and out of season. What you're looking for here is differences in texture, which is why we have the apple uh, versus the banana, which is soft, um, and then um, differences in color. So we've got strawberries, which are nice bright red, and the greens and the purple, some grapes. Now notice how I've cut the grapes. These have been cut in half lengthwise, and that's because a lot of, particularly if you're feeding it to small children, they're going to have the less of a potential to choke on them if you cut them this way. And the same thing happens if you have older people. Once in a while people will just eat too much at one time or swallow too quickly. If you've cut them in half the lengthwise, they're not round like the, the esophagus, and so there's much less chance you're going to, to have any choking. These are frozen peaches. Now, peaches are not in season right now, uh, but I've used frozen. Again, they're still frozen at this time, so you can take them directly out of the freezer. You want to cut all of the fruit in fairly well, medium-sized chunks uh, so that uh, you can have more than one kind in your mouth at the same time, uh, and that gives you a little bit of better uh, mix and a blend. I'm going to stir these together just a little bit before I put the dressing on. I want to make sure that uh, all the different kinds of fruit are blended well, that the different types aren't stuck to each other anymore because they do tend to do that. The bananas are trying to do it now, and the apples will, will do that also. You want to get those flavors mixed together, and then we'll go ahead and get the dressing ready. Now, have the ingredients for the dressing ready before you start cutting up the fruit, and that's because some of these fruits discolor. They oxidize really quickly. I have three tablespoons of fresh orange, orange juice. Now, I did actually squeeze this from a fresh orange. You could use, you know, uh, frozen orange juice or uh, bottled orange juice, but it just doesn't have as much flavor. And since we don't need very much, it only takes about half an orange or so. I also have a tablespoon of fresh lime juice, an eighth of a teaspoon of dried powdered ginger, and then I'm just going to put in just a dash of nutmeg. Well, maybe two. That was a pretty small one. You just want to get that hint of nutmeg. And then simply going to blend these together really well. You could do this with a fork if you don't have a whisk. We're not actually making a true dressing because there's no oil here. It's just fruits and, and uh, spices. Pour this over our fruit. And then you want to blend it together with your spoon just to make sure that you get all those things that are going to discolor covered with a little bit of the acid to help maintain them, and then also to spread all those flavors everywhere inside the bowl so that when everybody gets a serving, uh, they're going to get a little bit of that nutmeg, a little bit of the ginger, the orange juice, and the lime. Now this is so good, this can be a salad. It can also be a dessert. So I'm actually going to put it in a dessert bowl or a dessert dish see if I can get some of everything in here. And trust me, if you put this on the table and you have kids who may be a little bit fussy about eating vegetables, if you put this kind of a fruit dish in front of them, you're going to find that they're going to eat their produce, whether it's all vegetables or not. They're still going to be eating their produce. You're also going to be using some of the things that are canned. If you chose to use canned peaches, that would be fine also. Just use those that are canned in juice as opposed to those that are canned in syrup. People are going to love this. Whether you serve this as a side dish or as a dessert, it's a terrific way to get more produce into your family. I hope you'll try it. It's fruit salad with citrus dressing. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.